To hear back my other azalea that is very much still a pre bonsai. This tree was part of a group of trees that all came in the same pot and I separated them out and grew them individually. I've just sort of been leaving this one alone for the last couple of years. I'm not really doing much to it. I've just given it the occasional bit of pruning to make sure it doesn't get out of control or develop anything I don't want. It's really nothing special and I haven't really got a plan for it now. I'm just pretty much gonna allow it to chug along and see what happens with it. Here in February is one of the rare times I actually do any work to this tree, which is just basically removing any extra shoots in locations. Azalea will happily send out four shoots in one spot, when really you only want two in one place, so it's very easy to develop a real mess if you don't remove some of these extra shoots. They can also thicken up an area and mess up the taper, so it's just best to keep them in check and remove anything extra, even if you are trying to mostly leave the tree alone to develop. In March there's not really much going on, but that is fairly normal. In May, you start to see flower buds peeking through. They're pretty small at the moment, but azalea flowers can get quite large. Here you can see they've really swollen, and one is actually opened. They almost look like little pink chilli peppers at the moment. And here it is of all the flowers open, but since it's kind of a weird shape it doesn't look as impressive as it could be. By June all the flowers are finished, so they need to be removed. I'm just going around and trimming back the dead flowers, and trimming a few shoots back as well. Even though I am mostly letting this tree grow out, azaleas do like to be trimmed. So it's actually better to trim it sometimes than just leave it alone for a number of years. Doing this is actually going to help build it up, because after this it's going to send out a lot of new shoots, which is going to help this tree go from a weird long leggy mess to hopefully something a bit better. It's still going to take a good few years to get this tree to any sort of direction, but all of these little cuts now add up. And here it is after, still looking pretty much the same, so it really wasn't a lot of work. In July, there's nothing really happening, but that is to be expected, as I'll be recovering from that work I just did. In August, it looks like nothing has happened, but there are some buds forming all over the place. And here we are now, where the tree is going to start settling down for the year. So no real big changes this year, but this is going to be one of those trees that just makes slow progress. And before I go, here are some of the new shoots that formed after that last prune. Thanks for watching, see you next time.